Hello and welcome to this presentation. You will learn how to create a detailed reinforced concrete beam design calculations and then customize it to a specific beam number on a floor of the building successfully. If this is the first time you have come across our video on our channel so freezing academy consider subscribing to stay connected with us let us get started now i want to create a report or calculation sheet for the first concrete beam on this first floor so i don't want to create the calculation sheet for all the beams i just need some specific beams on this first floor and as well some specific beams on the second floor basically the critical beams all right the design calculations so for instance i want to look at these two beams this one is 1b 6 and this is 1b 13 all right i want to create a report for just these two so i have to navigate to the report tab right here and click on the member by then you have to confirm the name 1b6 and 1b13 click on this member so we'll be using filter option so you learn how to use this filter option in this video stick to the video to the very end click on this member tab right here in the edit filter property window click on add and then over here you give it a name as first floor first floor beam then you scroll down to locate the beams. We are considering 13 and 6. 1B, 13 and 6. So this is 1B, 13. You check it right there. And you look at 1B, 6. So this is 1B, 6. Alright. So these are the two continuous beams I'm going to print at the first floor. I click on OK. I want to print also some beams at the second floor. So I have to also take note of those beams. For instance, this one, 2B14 and 2B9. 2B14 and 2B9. I click on the members in the filter panel right here. I click on add. And then I give it a name a second. floor beam then I scroll down to look for 2, 2B14 and then 2B9 this is 2B9 I will check that and then I come down to be 14 this one I checked it successfully in this same procedure you can be able to print any of the structural element whether the columns or the beams at any level successfully. I click on the OK option. Now we proceed to the model report. I click here. So in this panel, I'll drag this into the left pan. So over here, available style are here. You can choose any style you can also add from here. So let's say we go by the default style beam report. You must ensure that there is active here. For instance, if you want to use these options, I have to click on active to make it active right here. So I get back to this option and click on active, ensure it is active. After which I click on the concrete option in this panel. I'll drag it to the right panel, release my hand to have it placed. If I expand this plus provision, I can see all of the structural uh, elements right here. But what I need here is beam only. So what I will do, I will pull all of this to the left pan, just like this to remove them. Because what I'm printing is what is in this right pan only. So having moved all of that, I'm left with beam design. Expand this beam design. Select on this beam design, right click. Under modify filter, you see structure. So if I use structure option, it simply means I'm printing the design report for both first floor 
and the second floor beam I've selected previously. And then over to the style provisions. So if I leave this style provisions active style, it simply means I am printing concrete beam summary, I'm printing concrete beam design, I'm also printing analysis report. For those beam I have selected, take note. All right. So now I just want to print concrete beam design detailed report, not summary. So use this particular options. I have to check that. And then if I right click here under modify style, I can be able to now print a specific floor with of the beams I've selected. Like for instance, first floor, I've selected two continuous beam right there. So those are the beams that will that will actually be uh you know printed in terms of its uh calculate design calculations. All right. So I click on this beam and do the same thing. So this has to be selected over here. This also has to be selected. Very important. Coming to the beam design summary, right click for the modifier. Make sure this is selected. And then for the design also, you can check the result type. Okay. So this is statics and ROXA. ROXA simply means the seismic result. All right. Or the seismic calculations. So in this model, I did not apply seismic. So I will go by statics only. I also have to cross check all of this to ensure that it is the first floor beam I'm printing and not the second floor or not all the beams. All right. So I'll also check here statics. Click in these provisions. Statics. All right. And then click on settings. Make sure include all detail report is checked successfully. Click on the OK. So with this settings now, it will all actually give me the design calculations for the selected reinforced concrete beam on the first and second floor only all right so after which i just click on the ok options so i proceed and then i click on the show report options right here so this will create the report successfully just like this for me i can hold down the control key on the keyboard Use the wheel of the mouse to zoom this out so you can see it properly. So this is the continuous beam. The first one I selected. Okay, you can see one B6 right there. So if you scroll down, you can be able to now see the detailed calculations right here. Over here, you see the detailed calculations based on Euro code successfully. And then if you screw now we can now see the shear force in the major major axis okay and the value of the shear successfully and then if you come down you can also see the bend moment responding to the shear forces in the major axis as well so this is the second beam i have selected which is one b13 as you can see from here all right so this is how you can actually print the beams okay now how about this header Okay, if you want to actually edit this header, you have to come to over to where you have edit header provisions. Okay, you click right there and then you click on edit from here. Then over here, you have the name, so you can key in the name of the company right here. So that will be fit in automatically on this header provisions. Over here, we have logo, you can click right here to navigate to your drive and select your logo successfully using the option of JPEG or PNG. All right, I click on cancel from here. You scroll down the same process for the project name. You had it okay. All of this you can just give it the name successfully. The engineer designed by you give it the name after which you click on the OK options, and that will take effect instantly on the header. After which, you can proceed to print this using PDF or Word document. All right, so this is how you can be able to actually, you know generate your detailed reinforced concrete beam calculations using Tecla Structural Designer successfully. So the same procedure you apply to other member, but once, once it comes to reinforced concrete slab, you have to go straight away to these provisions. You know, over here, if you expand it, you can see a slab stroke matte design. You pull it to this other panel to be able to print it, the part based the same thing successfully. Okay. So, I believe you have learned one or two things in this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe to our channel if you have not subscribed yet.
Also, I am inviting you to join our Pro User Masterclass that is ongoing on Tecla Structural Designer. In this masterclass, you will learn in detail about structural analysis, design, and standard detail drawings using Tecla Structural Designer. You can contact me through the link in the description of this video. And if you have any questions to ask based on this video, we can discuss it in the comment section. Have a great day, stay safe until I see you in the next presentation. Bye for now.